Genesis 27, <clears throat> 22, through, 22 through 24. Jacob moved closer to, close to his father. Isaac felt him and said, The voice is the voice of Jacob, but the hands are the hands of Esau. He didn't recognize him because his hands were hairy like his brother's Esau. But he was about to bless him, and he pressed him, You're sure you are my son Esau. Yes, I am, Jacob said. So deceit. Question we need to ask ourselves. The devil uses deceit all the time. If we're using tactics of fooling and deceit, and it's likely we're not serving the Lord. And if we're not serving the Lord, whether it be us serving ourselves or us serving others, it's not a serv it, ultimately it serves the devil. And ultimately why God allowed this to happen, that's blessing wasn't dependent on this event at all. First off, Isaac should have understood God's promise and went with it to bless Jacob. Secondly, if Isaac wasn't planning on blessing Jacob, if he was uncertain who it was, he should have waited to pour out the blessing. Sometimes we ain't seeking God, and other times we're too rushed through things when we could take our time and do it right. Oftentimes mistakes happen for one of them two reasons, sometimes other things. The question is, are we doing things right?